I think literacy is about learning language and in terms of learning language that um, is English, English language for, um, from a school point of view and also I think in my, for my case I think Aboriginal language as well. You know, maybe teaching some simple words in language such as uh, the word of uh, I would, you know, head, shoulders, knees and toes. I would go through that process. I would, for example, I would say, you know, kanta, ingari, ipuru, piku, which is head, shoulders, knees and toes. And then if I was to go on, I would use milti, inta, anta, and akinki, which is eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. And in terms of numeracy, um, in, in, for example, the Kalkadoon language, they may use, they may count using the first five numbers, but then after that, everything is, is the same. My mum used to read quite a bit, and I often didn't understand why she was reading, but then I started to read as well, so... I got that from my mum and uh, my dad read as well, he used to read the Sunday paper every Sunday. I think reading is important and I think that's what I try and, you know, um, I watch my kids do that too, my kids read now, but that's a, that's a reflection of my mum reading and my dad reading and, I, and, and you tend to copy, I think you copy what your parents do. I, I like maths, I've always enjoyed maths, I, I, um, and that's grown to later on in life where I've, I've used, um, when I've did accounting subjects and I've completed those and I use I use numbers regularly today. I think I've shared those views with my kids and they've watched me, but I think they've gone one step further and they, they use computers now today with, uh, with, with a lot of ease. You know, we'll have maths games in the car, we'll have reading, you know, we'll have reading games. When we went down to the coast on the weekend, we played ice, the kids played ice by all the way because they use, they, use, they use letters, they use words and they use mathematics. If you can, I would say, you know, read to your read to your kids as soon as possible and continuously. So if there's an opportunity to read to them before they go to sleep, uh, it's a that would be in terms of literacy, I would say reading is a is a good avenue. And in terms of maths, if you're doing maths at home, um, say it out loud so that your kids can hear you. So if they're listening to you and they're copying what you're going to do, um, then they will learn.